Dear viewers, welcome back. Today we continue with free energy generators, so another device which could in theory provide a free energy. So this time, picture on the right, this is the Tyrus Danforth magnetic motor. So not to waste any time over here, let's get immediately to the drawings and see how this is supposed to work and how this can give us free energy on the output. Okay viewers, so this is the Tyrus Danfor magnetic motor. So let me start from the beginning explaining uh, all these components one by one and why they are needed here to, to make the output power on this alternator or generator. So, so let me start from the beginning. This yellow outside, of course, this is the housing which will hold all these uh, components together. Yeah, on, on the... Um, together. Second thing, you see we have a uh, some coils over here. Uh, if I select this, so these coils will be in this in this particular generator uh, used as electromagnets. Yeah? So we will energize alternate alternately these uh, coils, these sets of coils, one, two, three, and, and the four rows. Alternately, we will energize these coils, and these coils will be uh, used then as electromag electromagnets. Yeah? Whenever we energize energized coils they become electromagnets and these electromagnets will in continuation um, be used to move permanent magnets you see this blue red blue red yeah totally eight permanent magnets so so when we will energize with external source and the circuitry this um, electromagnets uh, this particular uh, permanent magnets will be energized and they will move themselves in a uh, left and right in reciprocating manner yeah? so left and right they will not go in the full circle so this will this will not be a circular motion but only left and right yeah for 45 degrees maybe maybe these magnets will uh, move and if i select just this mechanism yeah so these magnets now we look from this side will move maybe 45 degrees up 45 degrees down yeah? and as you can see they are they are with the separate um, different polarity so that means that we shift uh, energy this one this one and they will move then reciprocating in the reciprocating manner yeah? and of course in the end we have this uh, output uh, generator yeah? so output alternator sorry so which will produce free energy and, and what the inventor says that um, energy if I select now all this yeah? that the energy provided to energize the electromagnets or these coils is less than the energy produced by these uh, permanent magnets which will go left and right in reciprocating manner and of course this will be transferred to this if i select uh, this so let me just one second uh, if i select this uh, uh, this red uh, spheres will be used to transfer the reciprocating motion of this uh, shafts to rotational motion here uh, which will then be uh, used to power the alternator, to, to rotate the alternator shaft, a you know, drive shaft. And that's basically it. So really, uh, the inventor uh, claims that this uh, energy, uh, which is needed to move uh, permanent magnets left and right by energizing the coils, which become electromagnets, is less than the energy of this circular motion, which will be produced uh, which will be transferred to this alternator and this is basically it so uh, whoever wants to know more it he can read the patent is it's in the description below in the link and then you will know each and uh, all the other variations of this magnetic motor how it can be constructed so thank you for watching until next video bye bye